Gardens, parks, courtyards, landscapes. All bearing living witness to the relationship between man and nature as time goes by. Artistic, aesthetic, technical, and cultural expression of the ages that dreamed of these places, generated them, and then lived them. Today, the history that can be read in these places is an important heritage for future generations. The Kultur project, financed by the European Union as part of the Southeast Europe program of European territorial cooperation and co-financed by the European Regional Development Fund, aims to identify the best methodologies for managing, conserving, and capitalizing our gardens and parks of historic and artistic interest, environmental assets, and cultural sites present in the partner countries of Bulgaria, Greece, Italy, and Romania. Two ancient Roman roads, the Appian Way and the Via Traiana. From the north to the south of Puglia are numerous municipal parks. These gardens with their Mediterranean colors are home to major historic, tourism, and environmental treasures. Located between two sheep tracks, Parco Urbano Carlo Voitiwa welcomes us with an imposing pronaus from 1820 designed by the architect Luigi Oberti. In addition to sculptures by Dionisio Miranda and a small Doric temple, the park is home to cypresses, mulberry trees, plane trees, and acacias. A terrace overlooking the sea. This is the appearance of Trani's municipal park. Surrounded by the age-old city walls, the park offers a marvelous view. The columns of the ancient Via Traiana and Antonio Bassi's monument to the war dead blend with the palm, oak, ohm oak, and pine trees. Designed in 1905 by Carlo Hedrick, Vitonto's municipal park, Villa Comunale John XXIII, welcomes us with its monumental entrance in the style of the King Umberto era. The vast greenery includes spaces devoted to social interaction, as well as a wide variety of flower beds. Bari's Piazza Umberto I came into being by joining two gardens together. With its central position and proximity to the university, the piazza is one of the city's most important meeting places. The main avenue, the irregular paths, and the tropical plants make the garden absolutely original. Not far from the city center is Ostuni's Municipal Park, built in 1917. In 1930, on the occasion of the proclamation of King Umberto I, numerous exotic species were planted here. A fountain completes its current appearance. Lecce's Municipal Park, dedicated to Giuseppe Garibaldi, dates back to the late 19th century and runs alongside Viale 25 Luglio, right in the middle of town. Amid avenues and trees, bus by Eugenio Macagnani alternate with colorful ornamental plants. Otranto's Idruza Municipal Park is located in the very center of town, between the old city and the new district. Situated along the ancient town walls, it offers a marvelous glimpse of the city's harbor. Various species of trees and exotic evergreen plants make strolling down the park's paths a real pleasure. Taranto's Municipal Park is home to historic, archaeological, and dendrologic treasures of major importance. Built in 1863 by Neapolitan architect Antonio Criscuolo, it still conserves numerous original monuments, including the bronze bust of Leonardo da Vinci. A variety of Mediterranean plants give the place color, enriching the landscape. Traveling on the Roman Via Ignatia. It is hard to miss the development of the concept of open space typical of northern Greece. From the city parks with their high historic and archaeological value to urban gardens with modern design, the elements of the landscape appear in harmony in a splendid natural architecture. Rising on the ruins of the prisons and National Guard buildings, the Park of National Independence in Alexandropolis is now a large green space 
dedicated to social interaction and to children's play activities. The Limnio Park is a symbol of the natural transition between the historic and the modern part of the city of Xanthi. The presence of modernist elements is contrasted by an alluring view of the Cosinthus River crossing through the park. The Agia Varvara Park is a marvelous open space with enormously valuable historic, artistic, and natural treasures. Historic constructions regulate the water flow in brooks, falls, and ponds. But in their impressiveness, the age-old plane trees dominate overall. Of unparalleled historic value, Galerius Palace and the Roman Agora of Thessaloniki have been restored to the city, joined by green spaces and pedestrian areas. Today, they are the heart of the city and a hub for major cultural events. Thessaloniki's Gardens of the Pasha date to the early 20th century, when the city was still under Ottoman rule. The park is home to several elements belonging to Eastern architecture, as well as some structures inspired by Gaudi. As we pause on the benches in the shade of the old linden trees in Naos's Central Park, we can enjoy a view of the Macedonian plain. Lakes, bridges, flower beds, exotic plants, and twisted paths enriched with age-old oriental plane trees are hallmarks of the park's long history. A spectacular 70-meter waterfall, Karanos, the waterfall's geopark, built in the mid-1990s, is now the center of the city's cultural life. Surrounded by flower beds and magnificent trees, a small church is nestled in this marvelous urban space. It appears that the first attempts to reclaim the area of the Aliartos Gardens date back as far as the Mycenaeans. The garden, one of the few in English style in southeastern Europe, stands out for the ornamental and exotic tree species that were in fashion in the 19th century. in the heart of Bulgaria. From the Middle Ages to socialism, covering the history of the art of gardening through a changed conception of the urban park, the use of courtyards, and a growing interest in botany in the architectural design of public spaces. Veliko Tarnovo's Baruna area is home to a small park in a meander of the Yantra River. The park's main attraction is the Asenevtsi Monument, complex, internationally renowned work, it celebrates the 800th anniversary of the city's founding as the medieval capital of Bulgaria. Extended greenery. The construction of Stratec, or Lilac Park, was designed by the architects Petko Evrev and Kosta Enchev, and supported by local businesses and the citizens of Lovec. Some terraces house the commemorations of the Russian and Bulgarian soldiers who liberated the city from the Turks in the War of 1877-1878. There is an unmistakable Ottoman style in the courtyards of Karlovo's Vasilevsky National Museum. From the Chardok, we cross a stone-paved lane adorned with shrubs and trees to reach the museum area dedicated to Vasilevsky, a strategist and ideologue of the Bulgarian National Awakening. Designed by the Swiss Lucien Chevala, former gardener of Napoleon III and of the Turkish Sultan Abdulaziz, Plovdiv Tsar Simeon Garden is one of Bulgaria's leading urban parks. Its value is still tangible thanks to its sculptures, fountains, and splendid plant life. As we stroll in the courtyard of Bochkovo's Assumption of the Virgin Monastery, we may recognize Byzantine, Georgian, Armenian, Greek, and Turkish influences. Wall painting and orthodox architecture are joined by fruit trees with age-old Georgian plums standing out. Dedicated to the noted Bulgarian poet Dmitro Grab's Penyopenev Memorial Park covers about 35 hectares and is a classic example of socialist landscape architecture. Among the paths and wide open spaces, we may glimpse numerous commemorative works and decorative elements. Stara Zagora's Yazazmo Park boasts enormous scientific and historical value. Here, both native and exotic tree species were planted. Conifers, leafy trees, exotic trees, and medicinal plants. It is a living experiment in plant acclimatization. 
Dating back to the 4th and 3rd centuries BC, the Thracian tomb is by all means the Tulbeto Park's main attraction. Heavily used by Kazanlak citizens, the site offers a variety of scenic points with views of the city, as well as areas dedicated to social interaction and gathering. Transylvania, a region surprisingly rich with gardens, parks, and open spaces between the past and modern times. The country's history is also told by these spaces in which Romanian culture meets Hungarian, German, Sinti, and Rome. At Avrig, on the shore of the Olt River, is the Brukenthal Park. The site is of a high aesthetic, artistic, medical, and scientific caliber. The Viennese architectural style and the British landscaping are complete with brooks, bridges, trees, and gaudy tulips. Parkul Sub Arini is home to the European trends of the 18th and 19th centuries. The open spaces are enriched by usable facilities with a strong artistic and social value, a pavilion for live shows, a playground, and a fountain. Astra, Museum of Traditional Folk Civilization, is one of Europe's largest open-air museums. Located in Sibiu's Dumbravka Natural Park, it is home to numerous traditional Romanian structures, among which we may see beautiful mills. A neoclassical house at the entrance welcomes us to Samaria's Arboretum. The English landscape style favored by Count Frederick Gulai is nestled amid lakes, brooks, and an impressive variety of exotic trees present since the 18th century. In the center of Cluj-Napoca, we find the historic Alexandru Borza University Botanical Garden. A garden in Roman style and one in Japanese style are located alongside the home of Babesh Bolyai University. The park is one of the city's leading tourist attractions. Once a hunting reserve, the Gurgiu Castle's Dendrologic Park has in fact conserved its variety of historic age-old trees intact. In a large courtyard embraced by a 16th century castle, we find elegant busts and sphinxes. An alluring silent place the historic Sigishwara Cemetery stretches across a hill slope. The approximately 2,000 tombs integrated into the place's vegetation bear precious witness to Saxon burial. Today, the cemetery is a site whose historic and cultural value has been recognized by UNESCO. The Garden of the Apafi Manor House, now home to the Mihai Eminescu Trust, is located on a small highland in the town of Malenkraft. Built beginning in the 15th century, the garden is in Renaissance style and still conserves the historic fountain. The identity of these places has allowed us to recount the historic paths and the artistic and natural beauty of the towns we have traveled through. It is an important European cultural heritage to be handed down with respect for biodiversity to future generations. It is a precious resource for a sustainable cultural tourism to be included on a socially aware development path.